What's up folks? Welcome back, my name is Daily Fix, and we are going to continue. So I'm thinking we have several options here. Uh, Norway is of course my vessel, England is going to be a long time away from actually getting out of this truce. Uh, Sweden, we have a newly formed truce with, we have Finland, so we can either go into Denmark and then Muscovy, or go Muscovy and then try to go into Denmark, it's kind of, I'm pretty sure, yeah, right now the Ottomans would not be interested in joining, but it is not that much, it's just negative five, so if we are going to do this, this might just be that time to actually do this, what is this? Um, have a fleet equal or larger than the Mumlix. That is 36. We're going to be building uh, quite a bunch of transport ships. Uh, I, I would like to be able to send a full army into a direction if we want to. So we'll build up with transport. Up. Uh, maybe, maybe do 20, maybe do 20 and then some heavies. Uh, we'll just, we got a bad load of cash here, which we are going to pay off uh, somewhere this year. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I don't know if we do that. Uh, states, let's take a look. Which one would be interesting? With Scandinavia, that England... England could be very interesting, especially with state income like this, which is quite a bit. But it's most likely going to cost me quite a lot of admin to get that all going. Um, yeah, it's it actually, it's, it's, it's very good state income already. And it would definitely improve my presence here in the english channel which eventually will be the best um the best trade note so yeah i'm not very hesitant i'm very hesitant like you already know this um we also need to insult someone but uh if we could attack our rival then that would be the best option because we i kind of need power projection so denmark is not really a threat right now and we are going to be getting some claims over. And But what we have is uh, perhaps the possibility of getting like reconquest. Let's see, where can we get some more claims here? We'll want to get all of it. Uh, keep pressing the wrong button there. So this guy can go. Uh, we are going to be putting someone onto outraged countries. And if we declare war, there is definitely some for Finland. And we'll take some for ourselves as well. Uh, but I think this is kind of the time to do this. Uh, we would need a lot of... Hmm, a lot of military axes. I kind of don't want to fight over here. We'll have to spread our forces out really, really thin. And the majority of the forts are over here. So if we can just get into like Poland, into Lithuania. I cannot get Poland to join actually because there is a massive debt issue. Uh, I don't... Yeah, if we can just march over there and just beat the Muscovine army. How many troops can I still build? We can all the way up to 84. So perhaps... 28, let's see, can we, can we do that? That's uh, 86, 87, uh, and, and a bunch. Maybe not a full army, but why not? Like 24 and 5, let's create one. Let's do 24 and 5. Save that. There we go. We'll start building that army up. We'll have a good... People that want to attack us, we definitely not dare to. So we want to build up against Muscovy. Uh, we might even send an insult, like 10 power projection, there you go. And Castile might be okay with that. I don't think Castile will ever join us. Don't think so. So we're still building up, so let us make sure... We... Is there anyone interested here in this dispute of succession? Oh, really? No. We do want to start building up Spy Network just to get all of this going really fast. 
and then we'll declare war once this army is done we also want to go into a new general and how is this can be used in a few months actually i would like to get more crown land uh because i would like to get some of those uh positives that would be so nice to actually get that let's see corruption is growing which i don't like but it's growing by one not a huge deal um we could lower maintenance for a few months just to get some more cash we will be losing some cash during this war which is just oh wow look at that inflation damn that is a bunch of that oh not happy about that actually uh let's see if we were to declare war negative five still like poland look at that 476 uh just uh, hungary 215 and castile is at 105 they are really out of control do i want to get started in this war we are still building this uh this group here we need a new general let us roll this a few times uh, well, oh well. It is what it is. Nothing else I can do with that. Um, do I want to get new ships right now? Can we send you somewhere else? Maybe protecting trade. Genoa plus two. Does Muscovy border any of this? So we can actually assume that Muscovy will not have a navy in the Genoan trade route. So we can actually turn this off and just send them towards Genoa. And maybe we'll build up that fleet as well. Because we still need to build it up quite a bit. And we can actually build a bunch of these. Let's just... Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, I was thinking I was having way more. That's two. Let's remove two. Uh, one. And just do this one too. So we can actually build just one ship. Which is sad sad about that oh well uh can we declare war right now we can threaten with war he's not interested of course can we um like break an alliance let's uh, pause the game here for a second okay we oh wow that sucks oh damn break alliance yeah, he, he is not interested. Let's take a look here. Maybe I've overshot my, uh, my thing already. No. Okay, so this is conquest. 100% aggressive expansion. There is no other way for us to actually get going on this. We just need to start pushing. I think the uh, the army is uh, is ready. Let's confirm this war. So we're losing 8 which is, you know, it's it's not that bad. Oh, we are way over our force limit. Shit, I did not realize that. That is going to cost me dearly. Uh, we have cash. Should not have done that. I should have been way smarter at this. How much are we over? Are we still building? Get rid of that. Ah, oh, damn, I feel like an idiot. We are overshot by 12. Uh, we could remove eight, and I kind of want to keep the four though. Small army, it's like those. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, that will but we'll, at least we'll make money. So you're going to stay in like this small 16k army. Is there a way for us to get over there? I'm sure Muscovy will get towards it um there's going to be a lot a lot of uh of packs i kind of want moscovy to do this come on now don't need that mm, damn do i really have to transport him all the way over there i kind of don't want to military leader left us you bastard uh, let's get oh well movement is nice and at least he has a siege pip come on muscovy that's burgundy burgundy will forge those alliances i'm sure of it i'm sure of it might take us a while though to get there and by then we can actually see where the uh, muscovite's army are 
Maybe we can just send them over here. Uh, these forts are being sieged down. We got a... Yeah, maybe that is not such a bad idea. And just move downwards. So we'll use our ships. We'll go stack at a time. We will repay this one loan and extend the rest. And we'll definitely click another army here. Put you on two rems. And the second we see that we can actually enter this area, we will. They should let us in. Losing innovativeness, we can almost take tech, uh, military tech again. Lose a bot load. Or lose loyalty and influence. I don't care about that. Come on now. Just give me access. That could be problematic. This is as well problematic. There is a fleet in there. Of course we are winning it, but still. It's 12k. I'm thinking this is a bad idea. Let's put you in there. This is a bad idea. Uh, get in the transport and... Drop you down... Hmm need to think about this. I need to be somewhat smart about this. Because I kind of don't need my armies to be stunned like this. this. This will definitely fall. We need to bring those guys away. They need to go somewhere. We might just take them back for a second here. Bring them back. Don't want to lose my army. Uh, let's get Miltech. And uh, we get new troops. Uh, also a good reason not to go in there. Let's go reformed. Let's go with the Schweitzers and with the new cannons. Come on now. Give me access. And there's a revolt uh, in Burgundy. Let's deal with that. That relation is good. Get military access, dude. Seriously. Hmm. We can go almost into Venice. Military access. Austria. He would will. He is willing to actually give it to me. He is allied, right? Hungary. Come on, mate. Be a bro. Poland. Ah, this is such a shame because we're that's just a lot of diplomatic relations. Uh, no diplomat ascent. Don't think I need to. Lithuania is still a vassal of Poland. Okay, there we go. Everyone now has access. So, you get over there. Group up. You get over here. And I should have done this earlier. Sorry for that. Get where in, in the back so we can actually reinforce. Uh, Burgundy will also trigger. They will start moving. Knowledge is power. Not sure what that does though. Well, we'll take it. Let's take a look. Doesn't really say what it gives. That is annoying. That's Kind of a bummer. I kind of hope that it would at least tell you what, what the hell it is that we are getting right now. So we're still going to do improve relations. He is idle. Uh, we could actually go with own subjects for a bit. Top off with Burgundy. Really don't see a reason to keep going on this uh, actually. Let's go with allies. Just go with allies. Let's wait until he's back. Go allies. Go. Uh, we can go into Diplo. Do we, did we finish this? Yeah, we can actually start doing that. Nice. Uh, do we want to wait? New ships. Colony range. Naval maintenance. Uh, we'll wait. 
It's fine. Maybe we can double dip it so we can actually try to get back on schedule here. Uh, we definitely need to deal with this. Uh, once we start beating the crap out of their fortress. And uh, Finland's doing good. We are blast. We gain a bucket load of money. Genoa is starting to fight again. Good for them. Uh, these guys are definitely moving a lot slower. Can we not call you in? Are you sure you don't want to join in, mate? Ah, you are so in depth. That is just sad. This is a fort level. Okay, we don't have forts over there, which is fine by me, you know. And can't reach over there. Reach over there. And we'll use the 16k to reinforce. Somewhere we're in between. So we're seizing this one. Uh, we're seizing this one. And there is a zone of control here where we cannot get in. We're improving with Poland right now. We're building up on Monarch points. Uh, we can actually do like split. Pull those other guys back. Without a general. We'll do the same thing over here actually. Uh, we'll siege down some of these uh, smaller provinces. Can't reach, get there. Can we reach over here? Don't think so. So we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait and we'll see where the um, the armies will go. There's probably going to be a lot of rebels. Is there anything we can do about that? Let's see. That's just improve. Oh, uh, that one as well. Wasn't really necessary, but still. And you can actually go there because that is my ally. We can actually start sieging down Muscovy. Oh, that is just the capital. That's that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So I'm kind of hoping that this is going really fast. So we kind of cut them with the pens down. And they're on 13% garrison. So yeah, that's one. Nice. That is really going smooth. You go over there. And... Don't want to go too far away. No, don't want that. Don't want to use ships. You go stay there. Can we take this right now? No, we have... We, we're going to get the cannons or the, the castles and stuff. Go and take this. Can we reach all the way over here? Like, Novgorod would be quite nice to start going into. Norway, Struce is up with us. Okay, that one is done. You go over here, you go over there. Uh, we'll see them come back at some point. Come on, Burgundy, where are you? If we take this fortress, then that is probably going to be the best option. Let's move these guys over there. Come on, man. 35%. We can siege these two down. They're just allies, right? Yeah, they're just allies. So we can get them out of the war. Let's uh, let's put you on that. As well as this one. So we'll split you up. Level 1. Both of them. You move over there. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start getting towards um, the Juice of Vault there. Which I really like. Come on there. The capital is about to fall. And they have not done anything. To stop it. Negative 15. There is the, uh, the capital. Just in instantly negative 3. Get over there. And this will free up this entire region. And they're coming back, look at that. 18, 24, they're on their way back. We... Might need to pull back some troops here. The rebels, of course they're rebels. That's woods, that is woods, that is also woods. We are going to be... Getting this client closer over there, so we can actually reinforce... 
Lose Papal Influence or Lose Prestige. I get that additional Papal Influence. I kind of want to go into like Manpower Recovery Speed. That would be nice. Come on, take that Fortress. Now, okay, we need to find areas where we can attack them. And reinforce like instantly. Okay, that is so nice. That is one. Okay, stop. Get over there. No diplomat to send. 18,000 troops over there. He is definitely not going for this. Where do you want to go? Yeah, he's grouping up. Come on, take this fort right now. If I can attack in the rear, then that would be the best. Uh, group up, go over here. Get this guy back. Sue for peace. Don't need anything. Just give me your cash. Break that damn alliance with Muscovy. And the Ottomans. And Sweden. Give me war reps. Now we'll wait. That's one. Uh, we'll merge these two back together so we have a full stack. That is a very nice army to get. Uh, I think it is... This is Woods. We're attacking to this. There's definitely going to be reinforcements. Is it going to be enough? Where do we want to fight? Let's see how good the armies of the Mus Muscovy are. Uh, my war enemies, please. This is not the one I'm looking for. No... There we go. So we have the highest morale and about the same discipline. Is there a way for us to improve that? Hmm, not really, no. Stability costs. Yeah, we'll take them because it's cheap. And I do want the additional point. We'll just save up here. Okay, where do we want to go? So this guy is moving. move you over there. We'll move them together and we'll start attacking into two places. So we'll have to defend on two areas. Okay, go here. Get over here. And we'll start attacking this guy. Let's group up. This is grassland. It's a good area to attack. We'll wait until he's gone. And now we'll attack into that. Let's take a look. We take a negative one, but we definitely have way more morale. And a lot more manpower right now. We should be winning this. Siege there is done. That's good. Let's go to Reval. We should win this. There we go. Uh, let them retreat and... We'll siege this guy. We'll piece this guy out for all of your cash. Muscovy. War wraps. Transfer the trade. Go. So we're now on 13%. I don't care about this at all. I'm sure that Burgundy eventually will be triggered. What do you want? 10% of the land. Oh, that, that is painfully annoying. Okay, how many troops do you still have? 43,000. Uh, we got a bunch more. Rebel Uprising. Harsh treat them. Yeah, we'll have to do that. I kind of don't want to deal with those rebels right now. Okay, where do we send you? Okay, uh, let's leave one. One go over there. And the other 18, you need to recover. There's still a bunch of troops over here. We might send them over here just to unsiege that or let our allies do that. Uh, we send you over there. There is 9k. 
We'll have to be careful here. It is grassland. How much reinforcements do you get? So you are quite a nice looking stack. Scroll out a bit so we can actually see enemy movement. He's retreating. I keep... This, this messes me up. <laughs> it kind of does. Uh, do we have troops in my lands? Well, let's not lower fort maintenance right now. Go aggressive. Help me, dude. Seriously, what are you doing, Burgundy? Uh, I have to fight this war by myself, I guess. Damn shame. Really a shame. No need to keep you over there. Yeah, Separatist, that is awful. What are you planning, dude? Seriously, you're not helping me at all. Uh, accept that. Maybe it'll trigger Burgundy. I kind of need his troops because I don't want to fight all of that. Uh, Revol. The defenders in the siege of Revol will get an average penalties. Orthodox. Like, what, call, what are you now? Catholic. Spare the faithful. See, it's done. Okay, we got that. Uh, do I want to use you just to carpet siege a bit? Just keep them close by so we can reinforce and we are not going to be caught. Truce expires with Austria. He could attack me. He could definitely attack me. I don't like that idea. Man, it really... I hate that idea. Go over there. Something happened. Not sure what happened. Something about not being part of our realm. Well, whatever. I think it's uh, it's fine. Keep you close. You go there. You go there. You go over here. Come on, need you. To uh oh, problem. Stop. It has a negative two in us. I'm not going to reinforce that. And this one's free. Oh, come on, man. Not going to reinforce. Go back. Stop. 7%. Slow down. See what happens. Come on, give me this fortress so I can at least have an army to attack. Are you kidding me? I need to deal with this right now. And we can also merc up if we want to. That is woods. We're currently in grasslands, which is usually not the best area to be at. He's going there. That's 1k. We have more than enough troops to deal with that. Go. That's an instant. Now let's move back. That was just an error in his ways. I had one. He has one. I'll merge this up with his 14k army. Do it right now, dude. Do not fail me again. Thank you. Okay, this is Woods. Let's attack into the 7. Let's move you down there. Let's not care about this. Right now, we'll deal with the 7k. I'm just trying to prevent him from getting away. 
And we'll send you over here. Come on, I need this 14k back. Do it right now, come on. What do we have? Negative one. Reinforce. Give me, due to morale, we can win this. Still not the army recovery speed here. Do it. There we go. That is so good. It is very expensive. Very expensive. That's 20k. I want you to go... We'll, uh, we'll recover our armies here a bit. Because, damn, we lost quite a bit. Uh, let's send you down there. You go here. Move out. 25%. Come on, Reval. It seats all of this back. Don't care about this at all. That's perm. Oh, well, I definitely have to deal with those rebels. Mm, anyone? Where is Burgundy? Dude, what the hell is your problem? You're not doing jack shit, aren't you? <laughs> you bastard. I was counting on your troops here. Uh, well, we can always just peace out if we want. If we actually have to. Nine. Okay, go here. We'll split you up. Send you over there. Because they will have to recover a lot faster than we do. War exhaust is high. You can always buy it down. And we'll group up our troops. See where we can actually fight. See how much we can get. Muscovy is 8k in reserve at 14. So they're not much better. But we can click this button a few times. If we are very desperate. We still have the capital, and I think... Uh, where is that again? Carola, that's probably... That's over here. We need to get that. Uh, this guy is going over here, and we will unseach one of the provinces in Finland, so we can build troops and unseach all of that himself. I think that is what we want to do. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. We are fighting. We're fighting Muscovy, and my allies are not really helpful, which is a damn problem. Um, Finland, go on siege your own land. I would be very happy about that. We need to deal with these rebels because that is... Is a problem. And this is my subject, so we don't have to care about that. Independence from Denmark. That is one thing that I bloody hate. Uh, but we'll see. Probably have to buy War Exhaust down a bit. Maybe get ourselves uh, a stability. But we'll see about what will happen. Uh, we are probably going to get Karaman. Kind of hoping that he will get that. But I'm, I need him to unseize that. But um, that and plenty more to come, of course, in the next few episodes. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.